Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch, and there is so much to watch tonight. We're going to start with the rain incoming for tonight, and right out of the gate, you can see the heaviest rain is going to fall to the north and west. How do we know that? Well, that's where we are seeing some flood watches in effect, and they are not in effect for us here over Connecticut. Now, the National Weather Service has said there could be some trouble spots for areas that get some locally heavy rain, you know, briefly the water covering the street, but we're not expecting big widespread issues heading into tomorrow morning, which is some good news, just kind of a nuisance variety event for us. And also what you're seeing here, those pink shaded areas, that is a tornado watch. There were multiple reported tornadoes in the southeast as whatever was left over of Fred came through. And now we continue to see that threat to the west today. Here locally, we have a couple spot showers or sprinkles out there, but overall our weather today has not been too bad. I was out for a walk today in Elizabeth Park. It was actually really nice, but this is the line that we're watching that will come through after two or three o'clock in the morning and part of the morning commute tomorrow that'll probably be of the most concern for us. And again, this is not exactly Fred itself. Fred has completely diminished by this point, but whatever moisture is left over. <clears throat> so no wind associated with the storm. Lows tonight around 70 degrees, showers and downpours developing later on. So for dinner time, we're quiet. For any, you know, after camp kind of things with the kiddos, we're going to be fine too. But after you go to bed at night, that's when we're just going to start to bring in some of those downpours in here. Now this computer model shows them kind of missing parts of southern Connecticut and other guidance shows it even a little bit farther north, which would spare us that heavy rain. For right now, I would say plan for it. If it doesn't happen in your community, great, but at least you know that there is a chance for that happening for the morning commute, at least in parts of the state. So this is 630 in the morning, stopping the clock here at 930. Well, the worst may be over for areas like Middletown, still getting rocked potentially here in northeastern Connecticut. And then heading through the afternoon, we'll see a few lingering scattered showers and the chance for an isolated thunderstorm. And there is a low risk for severe weather tomorrow heading through the state. The Storm Prediction Center wanting to let us know about that. A break on Friday, then we're watching Tropical Storm Henri. Now yesterday, 99.9% of our computer models. We're keeping this storm way far offshore, two to 300 miles south and east of Nantucket. But now we have some funky solutions that are saying, could we have more of a direct impact? I am pretty sure that we have never seen a storm near the Bermuda area curve back up and hit Connecticut. That doesn't mean that it's impossible to happen, but it is a less likely solution. Still, it has me concerned enough that, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on it really closely over the days ahead. And I'm going to really talk through some of those solutions a bit more in just a little while when I have a little more time. Here's the seven day forecast. Another chance for showers and storms, of course, heading into this weekend. And if we were to get some impact from Henri, that would be at some point later Sunday into Monday, guys.